Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming to FemLogic AI, where we show you how to automate and innovate with AI so that you can free up some time and use that time to do things that bring you joy. So today we're going to talk about content creation in using ChatGPT as well as Canva. So I know a lot of people ask, um, how do I work a full-time job and still get everything done? Um, I use a ton of ChatGPT, as you all know. So today I'm going to show you how I do it, how you can get multiple pieces of content. Um, we're going to do 50 uh, pieces of content in under five minutes, and uh, I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go over to ChatGPT. So I'm going to assume you already know how to log in, just chat.openai.com. Um, for the model, I am going to choose four because I am asking it to produce content for me. Um, however, you could do 3.5. So what I'm going to do here is I've already uh, pre-written this statement. I'm going to write 50 unique inspiring quotes for women in business about automating with AI. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to let it start like making this list for me. So um, I won't make you watch it make the entire list. So I'll let it go down through here and then um, we'll come right back. All right, so it's given me my 50 unique inspirational quotes for women in business about AI and automation. So I'm going to just copy all of the quotes that it gave me, say all 50 of them. I'm gonna control C, then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna open a trusty Word document and I'm gonna go control V. So I'm just going to paste them all into a Excel format here. Sorry, not Word document, Excel. So you could also use um, you know, a Google Sheet or something along that line because the important thing here is you just wanna save as, and I'm gonna just save it into my documents folder here just to be um, you know, very generic because I'm not only gonna use it this once and I wanna make it a CSV file. So you go over here and there's CSV, so you make sure you choose that format. And I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna say 50 quotes. Okay, 50 quotes, we'll get it there. Um, all right, and so I'm gonna save that and that is in my OneDrive there, so I'm gonna save. All right, and so now I can go ahead and close out this file because I don't need that anymore. And I can actually get out of ChatGPT because I don't need that anymore. So now we're gonna go over to Canva. So we'll go over there now. All right, so now we go back to Canva. We have our CSV file saved. Then we're gonna go over here to Canva. Um, I'm gonna assume that you know how to log into Canva. I do have the Canva Premium Edition, but you do not have to have that. So what you can do is go in here and you can say, all right, I wanna do a social media post. So if you go over here and you click on the social media, you'll get a lot of options here. Um, I'm gonna choose Instagram Reel because I think they're kind of cool, but you can do whatever you want. So there's many, many options in here. And like I said, you can use that same 50 quotes for different things, however you wanna spin that. So I come in here and then um, I wanna choose from the templates. So um, I usually type men inspirational. I mean, I'll put women inspire, see what we come up with. See if there's anything on here that really strikes me as something I really like. I actually like this guy right here. So I see we've got, um, you know, information. And as you can see, it's, it's doing a nice little, you can play it. And it's going to give me a nice little, where it's going to pop up my inspirational quote, 16 second long. Um, she is moving in the background, so somebody has time. So you can decide um, what template you would like for your information here. All right, so now we want to put our all the quotes that we created inside of all these templates so we can create a bunch at once. So I'm going to scroll down here on the left. I'm going to click bulk create. I'm not sure if you can see that really well on this. Um, I'm going to upload my data, which is in the CSV file. So I'm going to go over here to my documents. And if I did this right, it will be in here because I just called it 50. So it should come up to the top. So 50 quotes. I'm going to go in there and then it's going to say, where do you want the data? And so I want to say harnessing the power. I want it to be right here and I want it to go right there. So all I want to do in this is make sure that data connects in there. Okay, and now I want to connect the data. So just read through the instructions. This is a right click on the element I want. So I'm going to right click on this little guy right here because that's where I want my data to be. So I'm going to right click there and I'm going to say, oh, not that right click. <laughs> Right click here and I want to connect the data. So I want to go through here and I want to find where it says, all right, connect the data. So I'm going to connect the data. I accidentally opened that piece right there. So I'm going to connect the data and that is what I want. So I'm going to connect that data there. And so it, it's kind of like, eh, I don't love that. So probably I'm going to stretch this out a little bit because my quotes do seem to be a little long. And so I'm going to move it down 
you know, the whole point is, you know, you just kind of get it in there and make it look decent. And so I've got this. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to say continue. And so now it's saying select all the ones you want to create. So I want to create all 50 because I'm already in here. So I am going to go all the way down. However, if you decided you just wanted to do a few of them, or actually there's 49 now because I've already created one, right? Um, so I'm going to click generate 49 designs. And it's actually going to create all 49 of these for me, Boom. right? So there you go. So that's one quote. That's the second quote. You know, we can go through here. Um, if you don't like that there's different ones in each one, you could, which I probably would, um, this would give you 50 pieces of content right there. And I'm pretty sure we're under five minutes. So um, from there, you can just download these uh, and you can actually uh, share them. Click share. Got it. And then go down, scroll down and go to download. And then when you download the content, you can download it and it's a little video there. And then from there, you go into your account and you can upload the videos. So that's how you would get your content. And so you would do that for all of these guys here. So what I would recommend though, is when you go into these guys, you probably have different ones. So it's very easy. So if you decide you want that video instead, you just drag it over. So now I have two different videos, you know, different things in there. And so I want to make sure that, you know, I, you know, use different ones. So it's up to you how you want to do that. But that's in a nutshell how you do it. So that is how you would create 50 pieces of content in five minutes. Well, I hope you learned something today with Femlogic AI on how to automate and save time. So this is what I do when I'm creating content. Um, it's all scheduled out. So that way I have the freedom to when I go on vacation or just need a break. Um, I can have that content automatically scheduling to, to go out there, and I use this specific service for that. Now, um, in another video, I did show you how I also take Zapier, so when something gets posted on LinkedIn or, or Instagram, it automatically goes to my LinkedIn feed as well as my Facebook. So um, those are some other little tips and tricks that you could use in there. So I hope you learned something today, and um, if there's something you want to learn, let me know, and I'd be glad to dig in and see what I can figure out. So hope you have a great day. Hope you learned how to save time so that you can spend that time doing something that brings you joy. Thanks and have a great day.